Hi and welcome to our video of the beautiful Spanish city of Tuel. This is the second overnight destination of our 2023 Spanish road trip. The trip started and finished in Bilbao, staying at nine different destinations over 17 nights, with a few stopovers en route too. We only had one night in Tuel, so we had to make the most of our time. Let's take a look around then. From our accommodation, the Grand Hotel Botanicus, it was only a short walk to the Calle El Salvador and the first of our architectural treats. UNESCO recognises Aragon and particularly Tuel for its Muchidar architecture and the El Salvador Tower is our first example in Tuel. As we make our way to the Plaza del Torico, you notice a mixture of architectural styles and the secret is, as always, to make sure you look up. If you caught our drive to Tuel, don't worry, it's at the end if you missed it. We arrived around 2 and planned to head out for a late lunch. And Plaza del Torico fitted the bill. Plenty of restaurants. All we had to do was take a seat and enjoy the views. There's the Torico Fountain with El Torico, the little bull, on top. This is the city's emblem and it features on its flag and its coat of arms. Then there's the beautiful Art Nouveau Casa del Torico. That's the blue building and there'll be more as we explore. We found Tuel a wonderful, warm and welcoming destination with a few international tourists, but not a wash with them. I think the reason for that is the nearest international airport being Castello or Valencia, both over 50 miles away as the crow flies. And Tuel is unusual in that it doesn't have a direct rail connection to Madrid. And check out Casa la Metrolina on the right Another Art Nouveau beauty. After a beautiful lunch, it's time to head off and explore. If you like exploring cities with now little lanes and surprising little plazas, then Tuel is for you. And it's not long before we come across another of those Mujidar towers, the Tower of San Pedro. These towers date from the early 14th century and it's within the church of San Pedro that the tombs of the lovers of Tuel can be found. A story of a doomed romance that leads to the death of the two young lovers. Sound familiar? Another plaza, another Art Nouveau masterpiece, Casabao. And another church tower belonging to Iglesia de San Andreas Apostle. This time not Mudahar, but still massive. The foundations of Tuel must be solid. Our ramblings have led us to the Plaza San Juan. And boy, it's quiet here. Tuel would make an excellent stopover for a respite on a road trip. We'll have ours at Janice's brother's home in Mahaka in a few days. And we're at the start of our road trip. Tyrell is relatively small, but there are plenty of places to eat and drink, and you can just kick back and relax for a night or two. Now that's similar to Tyrell again, the little ball, and we've made it down to the wonderful Viaducto de Fernando Hugh. As you make your way around Tyrell, you can see why this is an ancient settlement. The landscape offers a lot of natural defences, and that will be reinforced when we get to the Aqueduct de los Arcos in the north. And now another highlight of the city, La Escalanita, or the Tuel Staircase. This grand ornate staircase, constructed in the style of Neo Mudhar and built in 1921. This was the city showing off. The staircase would allow passengers arriving at the railway station below to access the historic city above. I think the staircase is popular with tourists. What we noticed was that the locals prefer to use the lift that operates behind it. As always, if you enjoy this, give us a like. And if you want to see more of this trip and so much more, then why not subscribe and hit that notification bell. A five minute walk on at the Plaza de Cristo Rey with the convent of Santa Clara in the background. Memorials to Padre Polanco, the Bishop of Tuel, in 1936, as the country descended into civil war. He was sided with the rebel forces and when Tuel fell, he was captured and executed in 1939. 
Next it's the Plaza Perez Prada, another beautiful little square where you can find the public library and then next to Almudahar Towers, the Torre de San Martin. As with the other towers, it is beautifully decorated and is another example of the wonderful Islamic art that was created during this period. As with the other towers, it provided a secure gateway into the city and an exceptional lookout point to the landscape beyond. And again, another little stroll, remembering to look up and admire the mixed architectural styles, we're back at Tuel's Town Hall. And from here it's a minute's walk to Tuel's Cathedral. Its current form dates from 1171, with, as you'd expect, many alterations over the centuries. The most noticeable being the Mudahar Tower, which construction started in 1257. We'll pass through the arch to the Cathedral Square, to the entrance, and there is a small fee to pay. And here lies an amusing story. Well, for Janice anyway. I was offered a senior's discount, a reduced price for the over 65s. I was 56 at the time. At least Janice doesn't remind me often. Oh, she does. Inside the cathedral, as you would expect, it's wonderful. Centuries of stories are told within these walls. The detail of the stunning carved altarpiece and the magnificent ceiling. I'll leave you in peace while you enjoy the craftsmanship. step outside and we come across the Provincial Museum of Tourelle. We're short on time so there's no chance to visit. We're on the northern edge of the old town where we're going to come across Los Arcos. This 16th century beauty is an aqueduct designed to carry water. Now it makes an easier route between the old town and the north of the city. If you saw our previous video, the route from Zaragoza to Tuel, we visited here before we checked in to get an alternative view. It's certainly an impressive feat of engineering and one not to miss when you visit Tuel. Our last destination we visited the following day as we headed out onto Mercia, although it was only a five minute walk from the viaduct Fernando Hu. And that was the Plaza de Toros de Tuel, or Tuel's Boring. Now neither of us will be comfortable at visiting a bullfight, not our sort of entertainment, but it's part of Spanish culture. As we were passing when we left the city, we decided to take a look. It seems to be in a strange setting, but I guess the city has grown up around it. Well that's it for Tuel. I hope you like what we put together. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well and happy travels.